active filters active in this lecture we'll be uh, studying active filters now see first of all filters are classified broadly into two different classes one is known as passive filter another is known as active filter okay in passive filters uh, the circuit is made up of using r l c only circuit element okay passive filters are realized using resistors capacitors and inductors only and they have a job of filtering only they only perform filtering they cannot perform any other operation so passive filters are realized as circuits to perform filtering only okay pf or hpf means high pass filter using rc network okay rc network and uh, they are generally used at radio frequencies these passive filters are generally used as uh, used at radio frequency on the other hand the other class other category is active filter active filter they consist of rc elements resistors capacitors or maybe inductors sometimes but apart from that there is an operational amplifier also okay and there is there may be a bjt also there may be a fet also field effect transistor there can be a bipolar junction transistor also so apart from filtering they also perform amplification okay they perform amplification so please remember that active filters they perform filtering plus amplification both amplification okay filtering plus amplification <clears throat> that is the beauty of active filters and generally they are used at audio frequency okay audio frequencies so in the application hoti hai audio frequency okay. i'll give few examples first for uh, I'll, i'll give an example of an passive filter first okay passive filter passive filter now see if i have if i have a circuit like this this is my circuit this is rc network this is r and this is c okay this is r and this is c now you see uh, this can be input if you have input here and remember that this is an ac waveform and this can be considered as output if this is the output port of the circuit okay now see here uh, we know that this looks like a voltage divider network okay it looks like a voltage divider network how it looks like a voltage divider network in this fashion so you have output here v output and you have v input here that is all the way here this is c and this is r okay agar hum iska output dekhenge how can be its output calculated output can be calculated from voltage divider network formula output will be equal to r into v input divided by r plus zc capacitive impedance okay capacitive impedance impedance of the capacitor now see uh, what is zc equal to patik what is zc equal to ZC? sir uh, sir ye capacitance uh, capacitor ki impedance hai na sir ha what is zc equal to zc is equal to 1 divided by j w uh, sir j omega c. is w j omega c 1 by j omega c so it is 1 by j omega c yes it is 1 by j omega c abdul mateen ne theek kaha so we can write down v output c v output will be equal to r into v in divided by r plus 1 by j omega c okay so we can write it down as uh, r into v in divided by 
वन प्लस आर और वन प्लस जे ओमेगा आर सी डिवाइडेड बाय जे ओमेगा सी ओके जे ओमेगा सी नाउ सी व्हिच कैन बी फर्दर रिटर्न एज दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज वी आउटपुट विल बी इक्वल टू आर और लेट मी टेक इट लाइक दिस we can write it down as j omega rc divided by 1 plus j omega rc okay into v input into v input into v input okay so that is equation 1 for example that is equation 1 that is equation 1 all right now see uh, first of all okay this is equation 2 i will call it equation 2 so this is equation 2 and i have equation 1 here this is equation 1 okay from equation 1 from equation 1 you see v output it is equal to uh, r into v in divided by r plus 1 by j omega c ठीक है वन बाय जे ओमेगा सी नाउ सी फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन इफ ओमेगा टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी इफ ओमेगा टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी व्हाट इज ओमेगा ओमेगा इज टू बाय एफ ओमेगा इज टू बाय एफ ठीक है व्हेन ओमेगा टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी व्हेन ओमेगा टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी व्हाट विल बी वन बाय जे ओमेगा सी अब्दुल मतीन व्हाट विल बी वन बाय जे ओमेगा सी इक्वल टू जीरो सर it will be zero okay it will be zero in that case your v output will be v output will be r into v input divided by uh r plus zero okay so you have a r in the numerator you have r in the denominator so in that case your v output will be equal to v input that is the first case okay so this is case 1 case 1 now in second case case second if omega tends to 0 if omega tends to 0 what will be 1 by j omega c right yes it will be infinity it will be not defined okay so then in that case your equation 1 will be v output will be equal to r into v input divided by r plus infinite infinity so in that case what is v output then so anything plus infinity is infinity okay anything added by infinity will be infinity it will be r into v input divided by infinity anything divided by infinity what is that equal to 0 it will be 0 yes so v output is 0 okay so first of all you have to understand here please remember that this is a low frequency input omega tending to zero omega tending to zero would mean low frequency input because omega is 2 pi f it means f is tending to zero frequency is very small okay and omega tending to infinity what does that mean 2 pi f is tending to infinity it means high frequency high frequency okay it means high frequency input so so this is very clear from the circuit that it will pass all high frequency signals okay it will pass all high frequency signals and it will stop all low frequency signals it will stop all low frequency signals such kind of filter it is known as high pass filter okay it is known as high pass filter now see it just stops the frequency or allows the frequency it does not perform any kind of amplification this kind of filter it is known as passive filter okay it is known as passive filter the low pass mein matlab ye uh, work nahi karta hai low pass mein ye output dega hi nahi output will be zero output will to sir agar low pass mein hum ek amplifier laga de to 
लेट एस लेट एस फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अभी मैंने कंप्लीट नहीं किया फिर मैं आपके क्वेश्चंस लूंगा अगर हम इसका गेन वर्सेस फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस देखेंगे इस फिल्टर का ठीक है गेन वर्सेस फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस ऑफ हाई पास फिल्टर हाई पास फिल्टर इट लुक्स लाइक दिस सी दिस इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल गेन ओके दिस इज गेन एक्सिस वट इज गेन गेन इज ए okay gain is a of the amplifier and this is for example a max this is uh, somewhere here a max point and suppose this is frequency okay frequency this is gain on this side now you know that this amplifier is going to stop All the low frequencies, low frequencies को pass ही नहीं करेगा. That means what will be the gain for low frequencies? It will be zero. Okay. तो इसका जो graph होता है, if we try to plot its graph, it looks like this. Okay. So this is a point. These are all. This is a low frequency region. This region is a low frequency region. Okay. this is a low frequency sir fir ye excess pe honi chahiye na ye line excess means sir excess is excess x axis pe ji sir frequency axis pe nahi honi chahiye kyunki matlab gain to zero hoga na ha dekhiye ha that is true you are saying ideally yes uh, that is a very good point okay एक्सिस ये पास कुछ नहीं कर रहा है जीरो आउटपुट देन इट विल शूट अप जब हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी आ रही है देन इट गिव्स यू आउटपुट ओके हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी जब आ रही है इट गिव्स यू आउटपुट सो देन वी कैन से दैट दिस रीजन दिस रीजन इट इज हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी रीजन ओके इट इज हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी रीजन यस यस सर ये है ना ये फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस हाँ? जो आपने ग्राफ बनाया ना सर वो लीनियर ये लाइन बनाई तो वो छोड़ दो आप इसको अभी छोड़ दो इसको आप छोड़ दो मैं नीचे बना रहा हूँ व्हाट अबाउट द द ग्राफ दैट इज ब्लो इसमें कोई कंफ्यूजन तो नहीं है यस सर हाँ बताओ क्या कंफ्यूजन है व्हाट इज जो आपने बनाई ना ये लाइन कट ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी के बाद कट ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी हाँ बताओ सीधे बनाई ना आपने सर ऊपर की तरफ वाई एक्सिस की तरफ लीनियर बिल्कुल ऐसी हो सकता है सर ये आइडियली है दैट इज व्हाट आई एम सेइंग मैं अभी मेरा डिस्कशन इनकम्प्लीट है ठीक है सो दिस इज लो फ्रीक्वेंसी रीजन दिस इज लो फ्रीक्वेंसी रीजन ये जो ये ग्राफ है प्लीज रिमेम्बर दैट दिस इज आइडियल ओके दिस इज आइडियल आइडियली ऐसे ही होना चाहिए आइडियली ऐसे ही होना चाहिए सिर्फ यानी आपका फिल्टर आ, किसी रीजन तक नहीं पास करेगा उसके बाद जब हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी आएगी तो उसके बाद ये पास करेगा दिस इज आइडियल गेन वर्सेस फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस ऑफ दैट एम्पलीफायर ठीक है ये आइडियली है प्रैक्टिकली ऐसे नहीं होता है प्रैक्टिकली होता है जो मैंने ऊपर बनाया है ओके यू हैव फिगर नंबर वन देन यू हैव फिगर नंबर टू सो प्रैक्टिकली फिगर नंबर वन इज ट्रू ठीक है प्रैक्टिकली फिगर नंबर वन इज ट्रू so this region yellow region this is high frequency okay this is high frequency region high frequency region it is also known as pass band region ya yeah, pass band theek hai pass band matlab wo region ya wo band wo range of frequencies what is band band is the range of frequencies okay band is the range of frequencies so pass band would mean those range of frequencies that are 
that are passed or allowed by your filter okay while as there is a line jaha if you go you know outside the pass band agar aap pass band se bahar jayenge towards low frequency region that that region is known as stop band okay it is known as stop band kyunki isko stop kiya jata hai in frequencies ko jab aap pass band se towards stop band jayenge you will see that gain will start decreasing in 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 the filter okay gains gain starts decreasing and generally it starts decreasing linearly with certain slope jaise maine yahan pe dikhaya hai like this okay ye linearly ho raha hai decrease ye kyun ho raha hai hum aage isko discuss karenge lekin ek cheez baat yaad rakhni hai there is a point where uh, your gain it decreases okay a point where your gain it decreases decreases by a point of see this point here the top point is a max maximum gain that an amplifier that a filter can have a max jo jahan ye gain decrease hoga and it will reach a max by root 2 that point is known as cut off frequency okay that point is known as cut off frequency now see since this cut off frequency is on lower frequency region okay low frequency region then it is known as lower cut off frequency <clears throat> it is known as lower cut off frequency okay so this is known as lower <clears throat> cut off frequency lower cut off frequency chahe aap yahan le ya uh, ya probably aap yahan pe le isko <clears throat> ठीक है इज इट फाइन ठीक है किसी को कोई सवाल तो नहीं है अगर किसी को कोई सवाल है आप पूछ सकते हैं फातिक कोई सवाल तो नहीं है आपको बेटा जी नहीं सर ओके व्हाट अबाउट सईद सईद ताहिर यस सर ठीक है ये जी सर जी सर ओके किसी को सवाल है सर थोड़ा वो नीचे तरी सर हमारे हमने थोड़ा लेट किया है ज्वाइन सर हाँ तो अब क्या करना है आप बताओ डाउन कीजिए थोड़ा सर वो अच्छा अच्छा था सर इसीलिए ओके सो दिस इज पैसिव फिल्टर ठीक है मैं पैसिव फिल्टर कर रहा था डिस्कस आई अपलोड द वीडियो बेटा नो प्रॉब्लम यू कैन यू कैन वॉच इट इट्स वेरी इजी आई एम आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक इट मोर इजी ओके सिमिलरली वी कैन हैव दिस इज हाई पास फिल्टर नाउ ये कौन सा फिल्टर था इट इज हाई पास फिल्टर लेकिन ये था कौन सा इट वॉज हाई पास फिल्टर ये ऐसा था जिसमें आप पैसिव हाँ पैसिव एलिमेंट ही है पैसिव आर सी ही है ठीक है सिमिलरली वी हैव वी हैव लो पास फिल्टर ठीक है इसी तरीके से हमारे पास लो पास फिल्टर भी होगा लो पास फिल्टर एंड दैट इज पैसिव लो पास फिल्टर उसकी डायग्राम आपको ऐसे होगी Okay, I'll draw the diagram. This is R. वहाँ कैपेसिटर यहाँ होगा. Instead of top. So you have V input here. Between this point and this point, and it is AC V input, and you have V output here. Between this point and this point. अब देखिए इसको भी आप you can treat it as a voltage divider network. Okay. आप इसको वोल्टेज डिवाइडर नेटवर्क ही ट्रीट कर सकते हैं एंड देन यू कैन प्रोसीड फॉर इट्स सोल्यूशन इट इज वेरी इजी सो दिस विल बी वी आउटपुट एंड दिस विल बी वी इनपुट आई विल लीव दिस फॉर एज एन असाइनमेंट टू यू सो दिस इज अ लो पास फिल्टर इसकी भी एनालिसिस ऐसी ही होगी ओके इसकी भी एनालिसिस ऐसी ही होगी एंड आई विल ड्रॉ इट इट इट्स गेन वर्सेज फ्रिक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स आपको ये खुद ही इसकी एनालिसिस करनी पड़ेगी अगर आप इसका आइडियल गेन वर्सेस फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस ड्रॉ करेंगे इट विल लुक लाइक दिस बिकॉज इट इज अ लो पास फिल्टर ओके फिर नीचे जाएगा। हाँ अपू सर्टन पॉइंट लो फ्रीक्वेंसीज विल बी अलाउड ठीक है लो फ्रीक्वेंसीज विल बी अलाउड सो दिस विल बी पास बैंड फॉर लो पास फिल्टर ओके and it is low frequency region 
and this one this is stop band. stop band yes it is stop band and it will be basically high frequency region which will be stopped okay or agar aap isko ye hai ideal this is all ideal ye hoga aapka gain gain and this will be this point will be a max and this will be frequency agar aap isko practical gain versus frequency draw karenge so you will be having frequency here and probably gain here okay so suppose this is a max maximum gain that it can have and then it will look like this <clears throat> it will look like this so there will be a cut off frequency which will be known as higher cut off frequency which is fc fc is not nothing but higher cut off frequency why it is called higher cut off frequency because it is on high frequency region side okay and at higher cut off frequency what will be my <coughs> gain of the signal it will be a max, max. by root 2 a max by root 2 theek hai cut off frequencies pe hamesha gain hota hai a max by root 2 and in this the pass band will be uh, something like this okay this is the pass band and stop band will be all the way here stop band will be all the way here okay so ye stop band hai so this is all about uh, passive filters passive filters but i said that Uh, we are actually trying to study active filters active filters you can observe from passive filters they can either stop the frequency or allow the frequency they do not amplify please note it here from this equation v out is all the way equal to v input v out is equal to input there is no amplification there is the signal is not v out is gain times input as is equation nahi hai it is just v output is equal to v input jaisi signal mili waisi hi output mein de di so there is no amplification in passive filters okay there is no amplification in passive filters while as in active filters that we will uh, will discuss now shortly they are quite interesting they are quite interesting they can perform operation of filtering as well as amplification simultaneously as well as amplification why because they have a filtering circuit rc circuit and apart from that they also have operational amplifier that makes them special or an amplifying device that is why they are known as active filters active and passive mein sirf ye farak hai active amplify bhi kar pata hai aur passive amplify nahi kar pata hai signal ko passive sirf filtration karta hai lekin active signal active uh, filter aapko filtering bhi karega aur amplification bhi karega theek hai so i'll quickly go to uh, active filters now okay active filters active filters active filters let us first discuss a low pass filter okay low pass filter to maine abhi jo kiya tha aapko high pass filter dikhaya tha ab yahan main dikhaunga low pass filter okay i will show you low pass filter or uh, let me show you a high pass filter no let me go for a low pass filter so low pass active filter low pass <coughs> active filter using operational amplifier okay operational amplifier now see and this is inverting type okay it is inverting type inverting type why because input will be connected as inverting terminal so i will draw the operational amplifier circuit first then we'll try to connect circuit elements so this is an operational amplifier you have inverting terminal non inverting terminal non inverting terminal is grounded here and you have input coming all the way through a resistor r so this is v input here okay v input then you have rc elements here rc elements here <clears throat> so 
Fatik, uh, what is uh, this circuit resembles to which circuit that we have studied recently? Sir, we have studied the multi-sim. Yes, integrator? Sir, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. It resembles integrator, okay? Now see, collectively RF is in parallel with uh, C of F, okay? So we can call them collectively an impedance which is known as Z of F. In dono ko hum keh sakte hain? It is Z of F. And this is here a resistor at the input side. We can call it Z, okay? We can call it Z. So it is just, a, uh, just we mark it. Now, please understand that you should note it and observe it carefully that input is applied to inverting terminal. So that is why this is inverting type low pass filter. It is inverting type low pass filter. Okay. And if I will ask someone, uh, maybe Abdul Mateen, what will be the output of this amplifier? Because it is an inverting type amplifier. You have two impedances, ZF and Z. What will be output? Iski mathematical equation kya hogi? Abdul Mateen? Abdul Mateen. Abdul Mateen hai yaan pe? Asif Mushtaba hai? Yes, sir. Haan, iska output kya hoga? It is an inverting amplifier now. Sir, minus ZF divided by Z into VI. Very good. It is minus ZF divided by Z into the input. That is true. Okay. With 180, yeah? Huh? Isme bhi hoga na 180? Haan, There will be a phase shift of 180. Now see, there uh, it is an inverting amplifier because inverting amplifier ka output hai minus RF by R into input. Okay. So uh, as as correctly said, it will be inverting type. As correctly said by Patek, it is inverting type. So phase difference will be 180. Okay. So it is inverting type amplifier. So it is an amplifier also. Now see, uh, if frequency, if frequency, <coughs> what will be first of all ZF equal to? ZF will be equal to RF in parallel with C of F. Okay. So ZF will be equal to rf into 1 by j omega cf divided by rf plus 1 by j omega c of f asif is it fine yes sir okay because when the resistors are parallel yes sir when the resistors are parallel okay i'll add here When the resistors are parallel, then the total resistance is R1 into R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Because when resistors are parallel, mein hoti hai, because ZF may those circuit elements parallel may hai, R of F and C of F. Okay? R of F and C of F. R of F and C of F. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Now see, so basically it was like this. ZF is equal to R of F into X of C divided by R of F plus X of C. So let us, uh, let us, let us take now case one. Case one. In case one, if frequency, frequency F tends to zero, if frequency tends to zero, okay? If frequency tends to zero, what will happen to X of C? <coughs> X of C, it is equal to one by J omega C, okay? X of C, it is equal to one by J omega C. If frequency tends to zero, what will happen to X of C? What will happen to X of C? I will ask maybe students, okay? Mehraj Deen, what will happen to X of C? Mehraj Deen beta? Mehraj Deen is here? Ha beta, uh, uh, can, you, can you speak? Yes. Ha, what will happen to X of C?
Yes. If f tends to zero, vakar thirty two, what will happen to x of c? Vakar infinity. 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 Okay. Very good. Infinity. So we have one answer equal to infinity. So <clears throat> when f tends to zero, x of c tends to infinity. Okay. X of c tends to infinity. When x of c tends to infinity, when x of c tends to infinity, then uh, x of c tends to infinity. Okay. X of c tends to infinity would mean see x of c tends to infinity would mean that impedance provided by this it is very high. Okay. X of c infinity ka matlab hai. See when I say resistance is equal to infinity, it means open circuit. It means open circuit. When I say resistance is equal to zero, it means short circuit. It means short circuit. Similarly, when I say impedance is equal to infinity, impedance is equal to infinity. So, it means work will It also means open circuit. When I say impedance is equal to zero, it also means short circuit. So, in that case, then it is as good as C of F does not exist in the circuit. In that case, what will be Z of F equal to? Z of f will be equal to R of f. So there is no x of c. R there of is f. no x of c. Okay, there is no x of c. So in that case, I will just write down. In that case, Z of f will be equal to R of f. Z of f will be equal to R of f. Is it fine? Azhar, 26. Theek hai beta? Sayyid Tahir, theek hai? Yes, sir. Asif Mushtaba, TK Yes, sir. Okay, all right. If this is true, then I can say what will be the closed loop gain at that time? What will be the closed loop gain of the circuit? What will be closed loop gain of the circuit? Asif, RF by RF. Minus RF by R, R. Minus RF by R. Because it is minus times ZF by Z. Okay. And Z is equal to R. Z is equal to? So Z is equal to R. Z is equal to R. So it will be minus ZF. This color is very popular color these days. Oh, okay. Sorry. It is minus, minus RF by R. Manjit is here. Manjit Pita. Ji, sir. ठीक है ये इसमें कोई गड़बड़ तो नहीं है नो सर इज इट फाइन ठीक है ओके यस सर ऑल राइट नाउ सी द सर्किट बिहेव्स एज एन इनवर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर एट लो फ्रीक्वेंसी ओके सो व्हाट इज एफ टेंड्स टू जीरो एफ टेंड्स टू जीरो वुड मीन एफ टेंड्स टू जीरो वुड मीन दैट सर्किट बिहेव्स as an inverting amplifier at low frequencies. Okay, at low frequencies, circuit behaves at as an inverting amplifier. Okay. Now see, let us go for case second. Case second, case two. What is case two? Case two is if frequency now tends to infinity, if frequency tends to infinity, okay? If frequency tends to infinity, I will ask my students what will be X of C, okay? If frequency tends to infinity, what is X of C? X of C will tend to, maybe uh, Shahid will tell me, 44, Shahid. 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 Uh, Alia is here. Alia 47. Alia. Yes, sir. Huh. If F will tend to infinity, what will be X of C? Uh, From this equation. Uh, From this zero. equation. X of C will tend zero. to 0. X of C will tend to 0. Very good. 
x of c will tend to 0 okay <clears throat> and in that case if x of c will tend to 0 then it means that uh, it means Sir, that, ye bhi wale ke hai. just just a second see if r is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 it means a short circuit if r is equal to infinity it means open circuit so if r is equal to or if x is equal to 0 it means a short circuit if x is equal to infinity it means open circuit now if x is equal to 0 impedance is equal to 0 it means short circuit that means c of f is short circuited c of f is short circuited okay <clears throat> if c of f is short circuited then r of f will not exist now r of f ka connect hona koi fayda nahi hai uska okay so what will be in an r of f z of f equal to z of f r zero yes z of f will be equal to zero because it does not exist now because there is a short circuit there in that case what will be closed loop gain <coughs> acl equal to what will be closed loop gain equal to it will be minus zf divided by z it will be minus zero divided by r z is r so how much is that infinite okay infinity very good azhar azhar infinity so zero zero zero, yes, zero. zero it will be zero anything divided by zero is infinity not defined but <coughs> zero divided by anything is zero so zero he hai. okay so closed loop gain is equal to zero now see try to understand this thing please observe it carefully f equal to infinity means high frequency at high frequency the closed loop gain is zero that means it does not amplify it okay so you just amplify it here v output is equal to acl into v input general equation so output aapka high frequency pe nahi generate hoga <clears throat> it will give you zero output at high frequency but frequency equal to zero would mean low frequency Waha pe aapko kuch gain milega how much gain minus r f by r minus r f by r so this this uh, circuit it is allowing low frequency and stopping high frequency it is allowing low frequency and stopping high frequency therefore this will be called as a low pass filter okay it will be called as a low pass filter because it is allowing low frequencies and stopping high frequencies stopping high frequencies okay so i can say we can we can write it down here Thus, circuit, the circuit rejects high frequencies and amplifies low frequencies, low frequencies, okay? Therefore, it is known as low pass filter low pass filter is it fine theek hai ye beta kisi ko koi sawal to nahi hai kisi ko koi sawal to nahi hai sir ye hum kahan use karte hain high pass filter or low pass use iske jahan jahan aapko high frequencies uh, if you have to stop high frequencies then you use low pass filter if you have to allow low low frequencies uh, stop low frequencies and allow high frequencies. Now you use high pass filter. Now these applications are different. It depends. Uh, you know, in communication, kahin kahin aapko if it is a low pass filter, you have two stations. Two stations hai, hai, radio station. One is 300 megahertz pe chal raha hai, aur is 900 megahertz. Pe. Ye dono ek transmission kar rahe hai. They are uh, transmitting their, their broadcast. Now you want to select only one one radio station at a time aapko ek hi frequency signal receive karni hai if you want to receive 300 megahertz radio station then you have to use a low pass filter agar aapko 900 megahertz ka station lena hai in that case you have to use a high pass filter to inki applications bahut zyada hai there is a wide variety of applications to aage jab main padhaunga usme kuch aur examples dunga main okay now you know z of f what is z of f here it is r of f in parallel with c of f okay r of f in parallel with c of f or many kaha tha ki z of f asal mein hai two impedances in parallel so it is equal to r of r into x of c divided by r plus x of c 
ठीक है तो इसको इसकी जो इक्वलेंट इम्पिडेंस जो आपको फीडबैक में मिलेगी वो मिलेगी इसके बराबर अगर आप इसको एक्सपेंड करना चाहेंगे इट विल बी आर इन टू वन डिवाइडेड बाई जे ओमेगा सी ऑफ एफ डिवाइडेड बाई वन डिवाइडेड बाई जे ओमेगा सी ऑफ एफ प्लस आर ऑफ एफ ओके दिस इज बेसिकली आर ऑफ एफ आर ऑफ एफ ओके एंड इफ यू रीअरेंज इट इफ यू रीअरेंज इट अगर आप इसको रीअरेंज करेंगे यूल बी एबल टू फाइंड दैट यू विल हैव आर ऑफ एफ डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस जे ओमेगा आर एफ सी एफ जब आप इसको पूरा सिंप्लीफाई करोगे ठीक है वेन यू विल सिंप्लीफाई इट यू नो यू विल मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई हेयर देन हेयर देन लाइक दिस देन यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व इट और आपको ये एक सिंप्लीफाइड इक्वेशन मिलेगी ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑल जेड ऑफ एफ दिस इज ऑल जेड ऑफ एफ दिस इज ऑल जेड ऑफ एफ एंड वी नो फ्रॉम द सर्किट वट इज जेड इक्वल टू जेड इज इक्वल टू आर ठीक है जेड इज इक्वल टू आर एंड जेड इज इक्वल टू आर जेड इज इक्वल टू आर ठीक है ये सही ताहिर आपको समझ में आया ये सर मेहरीन बेटा आपको समझ में आया ये ओके देर फोर वी वुड लाइक टू फाइंड द क्लोज लुक गेन ऑफ द सर्किट क्लोज लुक गेन ऑफ द सर्किट इज इक्वल टू माइनस जेड एफ डिवाइडेड बाय जेड ओके वाइट इज इक्वल टू माइनस जेड एफ बाई जेड बिकॉज हेयर आपको पता है यहाँ पे क्लोज लुक गेन इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस जेड एफ इनवर्टिंग Yes, because it is inverting amplifier. Very good. You are catching very quickly. So uh, then I can move on. Okay, I can substitute these terms, and I'll be able to find then it is equal to minus R F by R divided by. जब मैंने Z और Z F का value उसमें किया substitute मुझे मिला ये. ठीक है. आप इसको step solve करेंगे. आपको भी यही मिलेगा. There will be no difference between what you have and what what I'll be obtaining. Okay. Now see, a closed loop. It is equal to minus R F by R divided by one plus J omega R F C F. Okay. I can write it down as. I can write it down as. It is equal to a max. Okay. Numerator. I am writing a max divided by वन तो है ही वन प्लस जे भी है ठीक है और ओमेगा भी है और ओमेगा भी है ठीक है वन प्लस जे ओमेगा इतना मैंने लिखा अपना ही वन प्लस जे ओमेगा देन इनस्टेड ऑफ आर एफ आई विल राइट डाउन इन द डिनोमिनेटर ओमेगा सी ओके सो व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू इज आई एम एज्यूमिंग दैट ए मैक्स it is equal to minus rf by r that is the first thing and i am also assuming omega c it is equal to 1 divided by rf into cf by assuming these things that is how i am able to uh, obtain this thing okay so now you can say now uh, closed loop gain therefore it is equal to a max प्लीज रिमेम्बर ये ए मैक्स की टर्म ये वाली ए मैक्स टर्म है ठीक है जो मैं आपको गेन वर्सेस फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स में दिखा रहा था मैक्सिमम गेन तो ये ए मैक्स यहाँ पे हब अब हमने निकाला कैलकुलेट वी कैन कैलकुलेट व्हाट इज द मैक्सिमम गेन दिस एक्टिव फिल्टर कैन गिव यू वो हम निकाल सकते हैं और एंड दैट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस आर एफ बाई आर ओके माइनस आर एफ बाई आर सो वी कैन इन जनरल राइट डाउन इट इज इक्वल टू ए मैक्स वन डिवाइडेड बाई जे ओमेगा Divided by divided by omega c, which will be equal to a max divided by one plus j two pi f divided by two pi f c, which will be equal to a max divided by one plus j f divided by f c. Okay, a divided by f c. Now see, you have a, a complex number. जब आपके पास कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर होगा ए या वाई इक्वल टू ए प्लस जे बीटा ए प्लस जे बी तो आप मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इट इज गिवन बाय रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर 
plus b square. Plus b square. Huh. And angle of y, it is given as tan inverse b by a. B by a. Yes. So in that case now, see you have something here. This is a complex number basically. Okay, this is a complex number in its denominator. So if I gain the magnitude of closed loop gain, ka magnitude, abhi magnitude of closed loop gain, it will be equal to magnitude of a max, which is in the numerator, mein hai, divided by magnitude of denominator. Magnitude of denominator, because it is a complex number, I will write 1 square plus seta hai. What is the next term I should write down? Sir, F you, by FC. F, F by FC. The square. Whole square. Okay? Whole square. Now see, in this equation, if F is equal to F is equal to FC, if F is equal to FC, in this equation, if F is equal to FC, what will be the magnitude of closed loop gain? It will be equal to root a, a max divided by under root 2. Divided by root 2. Okay. J square Please. minus 1 to nahi J square minus 1 aega? Kaha pe? J ko hume nahi rakhna hota hai, beta. J, we do not include J. Dekho, yaha pe dekho. Is general equation me dekho. Is general equation me dekho. Hume J ko nikala. Yaha J mat rakha hume. ठीक है जी सर जी सर जी सर जी ठीक है बेटा ये ये ऐसे है ओके नाउ सी प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड क्लोज लूप गेन कैन बी एट सर्टेन पॉइंट एट सर्टेन पॉइंट इट कैन बी इक्वल टू एट सर्टेन पॉइंट क्लोज लूप गेन कैन बी इक्वल टू मैक्सिमम गेन डिवाइडेड बाय रूट टू that is also possible. ठीक है? ये किस point पे लेकिन होगा? किस point पे होगा? When f is equal to f c. जब frequency होगी cut off frequency के frequency cut off frequency. At that point, the gain will be a max by root two. Okay, a max by root two. That is what I was showing here. That at cut off frequency. What is this? This is cut off frequency. ये cut off frequency है. Cut off frequency ke pass, what is the gain? Cut off frequency ke pass, aapka gain kya hai? It is equal to A max by root 2. Thik hai, Manjit, aapko samaj me aya? Ji sir, ji sir. That is why from I have derived A max and A max by root 2. Ab agar kisi bache ko ye pata hooga, wo kahega mujhe cut off frequency determine karni hai. So that is, to wo yaha pe dikhai jai ki, okay? Ab dikhi, iska agar mein, achha, iska angle abhi hai. Thik hai, ye to magnitude hua. If I want to see the angle of ACL, it will be equal to 180 degree minus tan inverse of F divided by FC. 180 degree is why the angle of the angle is like this. Let me show it here. Angle of ACL. Angle of ACL. Here angle of ACL will be the angle of ACL. The angle of ACL will be the angle of AMAX. Okay? Because see. ACL में एक numerator है और एक denominator है, ठीक है? एक numerator है, एक denominator है। तो numerator का angle divided by angle of denominator. What is denominator? Denominator is a one plus f by fc, ठीक है? इसका angle, ठीक है? One plus या हम ऐसे दिखाएंगे इसको। One plus J F by F C is the angle. Okay? So, the numerator angle is you can write it either 0 or 180. So, the denominator is when you put it up, it becomes minus. That's why I'm writing 180 degree minus angle of now, angle of denominator will be equal to B by A. Tan inverse B by A. Okay? Tan inverse B by A. Tan inverse of B by A would mean F divided by FC, by FC. divided by 1. ठीक है? ऐसा होगा. तो ये इसका angle होगा. But please note that maximum gain, इसमें जो मिला हमें A max, maximum gain, it is equal to minus RF by R. कहाँ पे मिला वो? वो हमें यहाँ मिला. ठीक है? Maximum gain जो है, वो हमें minus RF by R है. तो 
इसका अगर आप गेन वर्सेस फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस बहुत ही जल्दी जल्दी और क्विकली गेन वर्सेस फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस इट शुड लुक लाइक दिस दिस इज गेन ठीक है और ये ए है गेन दिस इज फ्रीक्वेंसी इन हर्ट्स फ्रीक्वेंसी इन हर्ट्स एंड समवेयर दिस इज ए मैक्स सो दिस पॉइंट इज a max and how much is a max equal to minus rf divided by r okay so this point is a max and somewhere here for example okay this is first of all you have low pass filter we are discussing yes low pass filter so low pass filter ki jo wave hogi jo iska gain versus frequency response hoga wo hoga kuch aise okay suppose now this is the cut off frequency fc cut off frequency then its gain at cut off frequency will be equal to it will be equal to a max by root 2 a max by root 2 okay so this is the gain versus frequency response of 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 a, a low pass filter okay low pass filter is it fine kisi bacche ko koi sawal to nahi puchna hai iske bare mein ताहा यासीन इज हेयर ताहा को बेटा कोई सवाल तो नहीं है नो सर व्हाट अबाउट अब्दुल मतीन अब्दुल मतीन को कोई सवाल तो नहीं है सर जरा एक ग्राफ करिए बड़ा आप हां बिल्कुल इज इट फाइन हमने हां आप ठीक है सर ए मैक्स लिया ना हमने सर हां सर जब हम बोड़े लेते हैं ना बोड़े प्लॉट हां तो ए मैक्स होता है ट्वेंटी लॉग आर एफ बाई आर ट्वेंटी लॉग आर एफ बाई आर ठीक वो डेसिबल सिक्यूल डीबी वो लिख सकते हैं यहाँ पर डीसी गेम देखिए अगर हम डीबीज में ग्राफ लेंगे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ग्राफ्स आर समाइम्स लॉग रेडमिक और कभी कभार जब वैल्यूज हम डेसिबल में चेंज करते हैं तो अगर आपको पावर करना है चेंज इन डेसिबल पावर इन डीबीज देन यू चेंज इट बाई दिस फॉर्मूला टेन लॉग ऑफ पावर जो आपका पावर होगा अगर आपको वोल्टेज करनी है वोल्टेज ठीक है मैं इसको आगे दिखाऊंगा देन यू चेंज इट बाय ट्वेंटी लॉग ऑफ वोल्टेज मैं मैं ये फॉर्मूलाज आगे दिखाऊंगा आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू मैं आगे इसको दिखाना चाहता हूँ ठीक है मैं आई शो यू अभी डेसिबल वैल्यूज में जब हम इसको चेंज करेंगे आई शो यू मैं इसको बताऊंगा कुछ और तो नहीं पूछना है फिलहाल आप इतना जिसपे हम कंसनट्रेट कर रहे हैं वो फिलहाल हम इसको देखना चाहेंगे ठीक है ठीक है ऑल राइट ठीक है चलिए फिलहाल विद दिस लो पास फिल्टर आई क्विकली गो फॉर ए हाई पास फिल्टर ठीक है एक हाई पास फिल्टर को जल्दी 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 हम करेंगे डिस्कस और उसकी इक्वेशन करेंगे हम डिराइव आई होप दैट इट विल नॉट टेक मच टाइम फॉर मी क्योंकि मैंने लो पास फिल्टर को बहुत जल्द बहुत आराम से डिराइव किया एंड आई ट्राई टू मेक इट मच सिंपलर फॉर यू high pass filter using op amp okay high pass filter very quickly i'll draw a circuit very quickly please follow me if you have any uh, doubt somewhere you can ask me at that point so it looks like this abdul mateen ye kis circuit ko resemble karta hai integrator or a differentiator differentiator sir okay this is r this is c yes it looks like a differentiator now see this can be considered as a, as an impedance okay this is z and this can be considered as an another another impedance which is zf okay and please remember that zf is equal to r of f zf is equal to r of f and here input is applied at inverting terminal so this is inverting type okay this is inverting type very quickly because this is inverting type v output of this amplifier will be equal to minus zf divided by z into v input okay and its closed loop gain will be equal to minus zf divided by z okay so if we'll go for case 1 okay case 1 if frequency tends to zero 
if frequency tends to zero, what will happen to x of c which is equal to one by j omega c? If frequency tends to zero, x c tends to zero. Oh, sorry, x c tends to infinity. x c tends to infinity. Okay, and if x c tends to infinity, z because x c see z here, z is equal to r plus x of c because they are in series. Z is equal to R plus X of C because they are in series. Okay, series may resistances add R one plus R two. And uh, you know that if R is zero, it means a short circuit. If R is infinity, it means open circuit. Okay, it means open circuit. So similarly, if X is zero, it means short circuit. X is infinity, it means open circuit. Now see. X is infinity. It means open circuit. What will be then Z? Z equal to R. Z will be equal to infinity. Z is also infinity then. Okay. Z if X is infinity, if X is infinity here, see what is Z? Z is I'll write down here. Z is equal to infinity. R plus X C. So if X C is infinity, so what is Z? Z is infinity. So Z is infinity. Okay, Z is infinity. If Z is infinity, what will be closed loop gain then? Closed loop gain will be equal to yes minus Z F divided by infinity. Okay, minus Z F divided by Z basically, and Z is infinity minus Z F divided by infinity. What is closed loop gain equal to then? It zero. is equal to zero. Okay, so a closed loop gain is equal to zero. So it means that low frequencies, low frequency rejected, are rejected. Huh? Are rejected. Okay, low frequencies are rejected. Now, second case is case second. Case second is that if f tends to infinity if f tends to infinity what will happen to x of c x of c tends to zero okay x of 10 c tends to zero now z is equal to r plus x of c what will happen to z what will happen r. to z then uh, z will tend to r okay z will tend to r and what will be closed loop gain closed loop gain will be equal to minus z f Divided by, by Z. Z. it is equal to minus RF divided by R. So closed loop gain it is equal to minus RF by R. Okay. So high pass frequencies are allowed. High pass frequencies means high high frequencies. Just a second. <laughs> Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, sir. High, it means high frequencies are accepted. They are accepted. And not only accepted, they are also amplified. Okay? Amplified. Amplified. How, how much? By how much factor? Minus RF by R. Okay? Therefore, I can say that uh, we can conclude this, thus, this circuit it rejects low frequency and amplifies high frequencies. Okay, high frequencies ko amplify karta hai. Okay, now see from the circuit, ZF is equal to RF and Z is equal to R plus XC. Okay, ZF, so we can see now from the circuit, from circuit, 
z f it is equal to r of f and z is equal to r plus x of c which is equal to r plus 1 by j omega c okay or i can say z is equal to r into 1 plus j omega r c okay z ko aise bhi kar sakte if we will take r common in that case what will be closed loop gain equal to closed loop gain will be equal to minus zf by z okay that will be equal to minus rf divided by r into 1 plus 1 by j omega rc ठीक है ये फातिक जी सर ठीक है क्लोज लूप गेन इज इक्वल टू ये जो दो टर्म्स हैं इनको मैं ऊपर रखता हूं ठीक है आई विल टेक देम एट द टॉप आई राइट डाउन इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस आर एफ बाय आर डिवाइडेड बाय डिनोमिनेटर में वही आएगा 1 डिवाइडेड बाय 1 प्लस जे ओमेगा आर सी फाइंड डिवाइडेड बाय 1 प्लस जे ओमेगा आर सी ओके नाउ इफ वी अज्यूम assuming uh, a max is equal to minus r f by r and and 1 by uh, and uh, omega c omega c it is equal to 1 by r c 1 by r c then we will have this we have from equation b this is equation b then we will have closed loop gain will be equal to a max okay a max divided by 1 minus j fc by f okay fc by f aap isko ek bar dekhe okay jo maine kuch steps skip kiye hain it's not that much difficult then we can find out magnitude of closed loop gain. Magnitude of closed loop gain, it is equal to magnitude of numerator divided by magnitude of denominator, 1 plus Fc by F whole square. Okay. And if we know F is equal to Fc, then magnitude of closed loop gain, it will be equal to A max divided by root 2. Okay. That is the first thing. And angle of closed loop gain, it will be equal to uh, angle of A max divided by uh, angle of 1 minus Fc by F. Okay. So it will be equal to 180 degree. 180 degree plus tan inverse fc by f so this will be angle of closed loop gain okay so what is the cutoff frequency here fc is equal to what is cutoff frequency see omega is the cutoff frequency omega c is cutoff frequency okay omega c is basically equal to 1 by rc where is it omega c is equal to 1 by rc from here okay jo humne upar kiya tha so if omega c is equal to 1 by rc then 2 pi fc is equal to 1 by rc and fc is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc so you can calculate cutoff frequency of an amplifier also okay ek uh, amplifier ki cutoff frequency hum nikal sakte hain this is same true here also yahan pe bhi aap nikal sakte hain yahan pe bhi aap nikaloge fc is equal to 1 by 2 pi rf cf ठीक है यहां आपको ये मिलेगा बराबर तो इसी तरीके से यहां पे भी आपको मिला एंड इफ यू प्लॉट गेन वर्सेस फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस फॉर दिस इट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज गेन दिस इज गेन ओके समवेयर हियर एमएक्स दिस इज फ्रीक्वेंसी इन हर्ट्स देन सिंस इट इज अ हाई पास फिल्टर इट इज अ हाई पास फिल्टर इट इज अ हाई पास फिल्टर और अ लो पास फिल्टर Sorry, higher. High pass. High pass okay. So it is a high pass filter, so it will be like this. Okay. Just a second. So suppose that this is your point where you have FC. 
this is fc okay at fc your gain will be a max by root 2 so it could be as he hoga jaise uska hoga i'll i'll try to explain it in next lecture i'll stop here kisi ko koi sawal to nahi hai low pass filter and high pass filter these are active low pass filters and active high pass isse pehle maine bataya हाई पास फिल्टर ओके मैंने हालांकि हाई पास फिल्टर का रीजन अच्छे से आपको यहाँ एक्सप्लेन किया है इसीलिए मैंने एक्टिव हाई पास फिल्टर आई हैव रश ऑन इट ओके आई हैव अपडेटेड वेरी क्विकली बट इट्स रीजन विल बी जस्ट लाइक दिस ओके एंड आइडियल गेन वर्सेस फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस ऐसा होगा और नॉन आइडियल जो है नॉन आइडियल वो ऐसा होगा ओके दिस इज प्रैक्टिकल रिस्पांस गेन वर्सेस फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पांस Is it fine? किसी बच्चे को कोई सवाल हो तो वो पूछ सकता है अदरवाइज आई स्टॉप नाउ सर जरा लास्ट का ग्राफ बताइए